After less than a year in Saskatchewan, North America's second largest volume LED wall will be gone by mid-2025. The system was brought to Regina in partnership with local production company Karma Film and Volume Global. But their projects are getting bigger and more expensive. We have a slate of projects coming up that are too large for the province's budget to accommodate. So, you know, the reality is, is producers have to produce where the, the environment is appropriate for the projects that they have in front of them. CBC has not been told how much money is needed from the province for bigger projects, but Ramaya says it would need to be double what they currently get. The wall is used as a virtual location backdrop. Other media organizations say Saskatchewan has many other tools in its belt. I'm sorry to see them leave, but to be honest, it actually presents a bit of an opportunity for the province. Robert Hardy says Volume Global has had the soundstage booked exclusively for some time. They've made two films and have two more on the way. That soundstage hasn't been available for anyone else to use. So we've actually had producers who are inquiring about using it, and then they've had to be turned away. So the opportunity is that once they have finished their slate, we'll be able to fill this with other productions, other movies, other television series. It's important to know that the departure of one out-of-province producer does not negatively impact the entire film industry um, as it might seem like it is. Uh, you know, Saskatchewan continues to attract both modest and big budget productions. In the meantime, Karma Film hopes to do plenty of projects in Saskatchewan in the near future. So I'd love for, you know, conversations to continue uh, on how we can in the future, perhaps facilitate doing some of these larger shows. Creative Saskatchewan says the province's film industry cannot support large productions right now, but there's hope that changes down the road. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.